hi guys and welcome back to our channel i hope you had a diwali full of light and happiness so friends you must have already guessed from the intro that today we are going to show you how we grow aquatic plants and reproduce them very easily and i'm also going to update you on the batch of goldfish fry that turned black and is still changing its color we also have a mini update of new batch of goldfish fries those who are watching our channel for the first time allow me to share with you that we make content on fish keeping aquatic plants and breeding videos so do subscribe to our channel if you are interested and hit the bell notification to be notified every time we post a new video so without further ado let's quickly get into the video this is Bacopa caroliniana, one of the easy to grow and care aquatic plants. It can survive in almost any condition. You can use any substrate, lighting or water parameters to grow it. We have used garden sand and planted it in submerged condition. This plant costs Rs. 40 for just 2-3 to three stems in aquatic stores. You can easily propagate it by just trimming the end as shown in the video and plant it back into the soil. It will grow in about two weeks. That's very simple, right? Next, we have Hydrocotyl verticillata, also known as Paniot. It is a fast growing plant. It can be grown both on land, in sunlight, and also in immersed condition. Maximum growth of the plant is achieved only in strong light. It does not need to be rooted, it grows by sending out runners. You can easily propagate it by cutting the connection to the other plant. It is also suitable for your garden ponds. Our next aquatic plant is Salvinia minima. It is a first growing aquatic fern. The leaves have some root-like structures that keeps them floating and upright. They grow pretty fast and can totally cover a small pond in just a week. It is very useful for breeding tanks as these floating ferns can remove excess nutrients from the water, helping to maintain the nutrient balance. You can keep these plants in partial sunlight. These are the spores. Salvinia minima grows through a section reproduction by means of spores. Next, we have duckweed. Duckweeds are tiny, free floating aquatic green plants. This is a fast growing aquatic plant and it can double in just one to two days. It prevents algae growth by blocking the direct sunlight entering into your pond. It also has the ability to keep the water clean by absorbing any extra chemicals in water. This is Marsilia and is commonly known as water clover. This is an aquatic fern. You can grow these plants in water. Here you can see the whole body is submerged in water with just the leaves floating. We have planted these plants in a small tub with garden soil. It makes an excellent addition to your ponds. You can keep these plants in full or partial sunlight, but it can be grown in full shade as well. Here you can see these are water lettuce. Water lettuce are floating aquatic plants and are very easy to grow. They grow better in shade, but need a warm environment to survive. You can use this in fish ponds because they do provide food and shelter for your fish. And if you find some of the leaves turning yellow, then this may be because of direct sunlight exposure. Next, we have Java fern. Java fern got its name from the Indonesian island of Java. It is one of the most common hardy aquarium plant because of its slow growth, beautiful looks and easy care. New plants grow from its leaves and needs very minimal care. This plant needs very less carbon dioxide, so it is very easy to care. 
It can survive even in low light condition. Now, many of us think that all plants need to be planted in a substrate. By substrate, we mean sand or soil that is used for planting. But let me tell you, these plants do not need any substrate. We need to attach these plants to a rock or a driftwood as shown. You'll find that after a few weeks, the roots will have attached themselves to the surface of whatever you have attached them to. Next is Java moss. This is also quite common and is widely used in freshwater aquariums. It is very popular as a beginner's plant for aquariums. The growth of Java moss is fast and dense like a carpet. Although maintaining Java moss carpet is quite easy, care must be taken. This is also one of the kind which requires no substrate. It requires some rocks or driftwood to be attached. While attaching, please remember that the surface must be flat, textured and should not float. Thank you. 